Hey everyone, great to have you back with us at Organic Oasis 83. Did you know the foods we eat can actually change our body's pH level? It's like having a superpower. Foods are categorized on this super cool pH scale that stretches from 0 to 14. When a food scores over 7, it gets the title of being alkaline or basic. The higher it climbs, the more alkaline it is. And the lower it falls, the more acidic it becomes. Now let's talk about some superheroes on our plate. Alkaline stars include fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds like spinach, broccoli, almonds, and avocados. The villains? Well, unfortunately for our cheese and steak lovers, it's meat, dairy, eggs, grains, and processed foods, which usually tend to be more acidic. So why does this pH playground matter? Because our bodies like to keep things slightly alkaline around the sweet spot of 7.4. The foods we munch on can tip this balance, swinging us more acidic or more alkaline. But here's the game changer. Wellness warriors believe an alkaline-rich diet loaded with fruits and veggies can help maintain our body's pH balance, making it a no-go zone for diseases. This is because diseases are not fans of the alkaline clubhouse and prefer the acidic hangout. But the fun doesn't stop at pH levels. Alkaline foods are nutrient powerhouses, bursting with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that our bodies crave. They're like our personal cheerleaders, boosting our immune system, championing good digestion, and supercharging our energy levels. So in a nutshell, our alkaline allies, fruits, veggies, nuts, and seeds, can help balance our body's pH level, making it less inviting for diseases. They're not only packed with nutrients, but also taste fantastic and add a zing to our meals. Adding more of these to our diet could be our secret weapon for better health. But remember, variety is the spice of life. A healthy diet is all about balance and including all types of foods. Now, let's go challenge that pH scale. Now, let's consider the difference between an acidic and an alkaline environment in our bodies. Our bodies naturally maintain a pH level that leans towards the alkaline side of the scale, just above 7. It's a delicate balance, and the foods we eat play a significant role in maintaining this equilibrium. Consider the standard Western diet. It's often high in processed foods, meat, and dairy products. These foods are typically acidic, meaning they have a pH level below 7. When we consume these foods in large quantities, they can tip our body's pH balance towards the acidic side. Now, why is this a concern? Well, some studies suggest that an acidic environment within the body may increase susceptibility to various illnesses. This includes conditions such as heart disease, osteoporosis, and even cancer. The theory is that disease-causing microorganisms, including cancer cells, thrive in an acidic environment. They find it harder to survive in an alkaline environment. Therefore, by consuming a diet rich in alkaline foods, we might be able to create a less conducive environment for these harmful cells and organisms. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? The idea that the foods we eat could potentially influence the very environment within our bodies and by extension, our health. Now, it's important to note that this doesn't mean you should eliminate all acidic foods from your diet. Many acidic foods like citrus fruits and tomatoes are packed with essential nutrients. It's all about balance and moderation. The key takeaway here is to be mindful of the potential impact of your diet on your body's pH balance. By incorporating more alkaline foods into your diet, like fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, you can help maintain a healthier, more balanced internal environment. The foods we consume can tilt the balance in our bodies towards acidic or alkaline, potentially influencing our health. So, next time you reach for a snack, consider its pH. Your body might just thank you for it. Let's delve deeper and explore the potential connection between an alkaline diet and cancer prevention. This intriguing hypothesis rests on the basic principle that cancer cells may find it more difficult to survive in an alkaline environment compared to an acidic one. The theory goes like this. Cancer cells, like all cells, require certain conditions to grow and multiply. One such condition is the pH level of their environment. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral. Anything below 7 is considered acidic, and anything above 7 is considered alkaline or basic. The human body naturally maintains a slightly alkaline pH, around 7.4. However, the foods we consume can influence this balance. A diet high in processed foods, meat, and dairy, typical of the standard Western diet, can tip the scale towards the acidic side potentially creating a more hospitable environment for cancer cells. On the flip side, an alkaline diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, 
may help maintain or restore the body's natural alkaline balance. The idea is that by creating an alkaline environment, we might make it harder for cancer cells to grow and multiply. While this theory is compelling, it's important to note that research is ongoing. Scientists are still exploring the extent to which dietary pH can influence the growth and spread of cancer. Some studies have found a link between an alkaline diet and reduced risk of cancer, while others have not. Despite the need for more research, proponents of alkaline diets argue that there's potential benefit in maintaining a more alkaline pH. They believe that even if an alkaline diet doesn't directly prevent cancer, it may contribute to a healthier overall lifestyle that can reduce the risk of various illnesses, including cancer. While more research is needed, an alkaline diet may play a role in creating an environment where cancer cells find it hard to thrive. It's a fascinating area of nutrition science and one that we'll be keeping a close eye on as more research unfolds. But it's not just about cancer prevention. Alkaline foods can also boost our immune function. The power of alkaline foods extends beyond just creating an unfavorable environment for cancer cells. They also play a pivotal role in supporting our immune system. The immune system, as you may know, is our body's built-in defense mechanism against diseases. It's like our body's own personal army, always ready to fight off invading harmful entities like bacteria, viruses, and cancer cells. Now, what fuels this army? It's the vitamins and minerals we get from our diet. And guess what? Alkaline foods, being nutrient-rich, are a powerhouse of these essential nutrients. Fruits and vegetables, the primary components of an alkaline diet, are packed with vitamins like A, C, and E, and minerals like zinc and selenium. Vitamin A, for instance, is vital for the health of our skin and mucous membranes, our body's first line of defense. Vitamin C, on the other hand, is a potent antioxidant that can boost our immune response by stimulating the production of white blood cells, the soldiers of our immune army. Minerals like zinc and selenium are not to be overlooked either. They play crucial roles in immune function. Zinc is necessary for the development and function of many immune cells, while selenium assists in the production of certain proteins that help guide immune responses. The alkaline diet also includes nuts and seeds, another excellent source of vital nutrients. Almonds, for instance, are rich in vitamin E, which is key to maintaining a healthy immune system, especially in older adults. So you see alkaline foods with their rich nutrient content can provide our immune system the necessary ammunition to effectively combat various illnesses. By incorporating more alkaline foods into our diet, we're not just potentially reducing our risk of developing cancer, but also boosting our body's overall immunity, making it more robust and resilient against diseases. So an alkaline diet can potentially bolster our immune system, further protecting us from various diseases. Did you know that many alkaline foods have anti-inflammatory properties? That's right. Certain alkaline foods, especially leafy greens and berries, are packed with anti-inflammatory compounds. These compounds can play a significant role in reducing inflammation, a condition often linked to a multitude of health issues. To understand this better, let's delve into the concept of inflammation. It's a natural response of our body's immune system to injury or infection. However, when inflammation becomes chronic, it can lead to various diseases, including cancer, heart disease, and autoimmune disorders. Now here's where alkaline foods come into the picture. Many of these nutrient-packed foods, like spinach, kale, blueberries, and strawberries, contain substantial amounts of antioxidants and phytochemicals. These compounds not only neutralize harmful free radicals, but also combat inflammation. For instance, leafy greens are rich in vitamins K and E, known for their anti-inflammatory properties. Berries, on the other hand, are loaded with anthocyanins, a type of flavonoid that has been studied extensively for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. Moreover, a diet rich in alkaline foods can help balance the body's pH level. This balance is essential because an overly acidic environment in the body can trigger inflammation and other health problems. Let's also remember that inflammation is not always bad. It's part of our body's natural defense mechanism. But chronic inflammation? That's a different story. It's often a sign that something is off balance in the body and it can pave the way for serious health issues. Therefore, by incorporating more alkaline foods into our diets, we may help tip the scale towards a more balanced, less inflammatory state. It's like giving your body the right tools to fight off inflammation and maintain optimal health. Incorporating alkaline-rich foods into our diet can potentially help reduce inflammation and promote overall wellness. So, the next time you're at the grocery store, 
Why not reach for some leafy greens or vibrant berries? Your body will thank you. Remember though, the key to a healthy diet is balance. In our exploration of alkaline foods, we've delved into their potential benefits, from possibly crafting an environment less favorable for cancer cells to bolstering immune function and even their anti-inflammatory properties. But as with any aspect of nutrition, it's essential to remember that balance is the name of the game. Indeed, while alkaline foods offer potential health benefits, they are just one piece of the nutritional puzzle. Our bodies require a multitude of nutrients to function optimally, and these nutrients come from a diverse range of foods, both alkaline and non-alkaline. Think of it this way. Imagine trying to complete a puzzle, but only using pieces from one section. Sure, you might get a glimpse of the overall picture, but the image will be incomplete. The same goes for our diets. If we focus solely on alkaline foods, we may miss out on important nutrients found in other foods. For instance, lean proteins, whole grains, and dairy products may not be alkaline, but they provide essential nutrients like B vitamins, protein, calcium, and more. Therefore, it's important to incorporate a variety of nutrient-dense foods into your diet. Moreover, while alkaline foods can be part of a healthy eating plan, the focus should not solely be on the pH level of foods. The nutritional value of foods, their vitamin and mineral content, fiber content, and how they fit into your overall dietary pattern are all equally important. So, while it's great to include more alkaline foods like fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds in your diet, don't forget about the other food groups. A well-rounded diet that includes a variety of foods will ensure you get the full spectrum of nutrients your body needs. In the end, it's all about balance. It's about creating a diet that is rich in a variety of foods, each contributing its unique set of nutrients to fuel your body and keep it functioning at its best. While alkaline foods can be beneficial, it's important to maintain a balanced diet for overall health. So, how can we incorporate more alkaline foods into our daily diet? This question might be on many minds right now, and the answer is simpler than you think. Start by making your plate colorful with fresh fruits and vegetables. These are alkaline-rich foods that also offer a wide range of essential nutrients. From crunchy bell peppers to sweet blueberries, there's a rainbow of options available. When it comes to grains, opt for whole grains like quinoa and millet over their refined counterparts. Next, consider your protein sources. Plant-based proteins, such as lentils, chickpeas, and hemp seeds, are not only alkaline-forming, but also packed with fiber and other nutrients. They can be easily incorporated into salads, soups, and even smoothies for a protein boost. Let's not forget nuts and seeds, little powerhouses of nutrition and alkalinity. Sprinkle them onto your salads, blend them into smoothies, or enjoy them as a snack. They're a great way of adding crunch and nutrition to your meals. As we focus on adding alkaline foods, it's equally important to reduce the intake of acidic foods. This includes processed foods, refined sugars, and excessive meat consumption. These foods can tip the body's pH balance towards acidity, potentially negating the benefits of the alkaline foods you're incorporating. And one more thing, hydration. Water plays a crucial role in maintaining our body's pH balance, but not all water is created equal. Some bottled waters have a higher pH, making them more alkaline. So, consider choosing water with a slightly higher pH to help maintain that alkaline balance. Remember, the goal isn't to eliminate all acidic foods, but to create a balance. A diet should be diverse and nutrient-rich, and while alkaline foods have their benefits, they're part of a larger nutritional picture. By including more alkaline foods and staying hydrated, we can potentially reap the benefits of an alkaline diet. It's about making small, sustainable changes that can have a big impact on our overall health. So why not start today? As we wrap up our discussion on alkaline foods, let's take a moment to refresh our memories about the key takeaways. We've learned that foods with a pH level above seven, like fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, can help create an alkaline environment in our bodies, potentially thwarting the development of diseases, including cancer. They also play an essential role in boosting our immune system and possess anti-inflammatory properties. Remember though, the importance of balance. A variety of nutrient-dense foods should fill our plates, not just those that are alkaline. This approach ensures a full spectrum of nutrients for our bodies. As we conclude this exploration of the potential benefits of alkaline foods in preventing cancer and minimizing sickness, remember that nutrition is a complex and evolving field. It's always advisable to consult with healthcare professionals and consider individual health needs. 
If you found this information insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others. Until next time, prioritize your health and embrace the power of a balanced alkaline-influenced diet.